Hi, Chanel here from TTHQ and in this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how you can use the WP Easy PayPal Payment Accept plugin to create a simple PayPal Buy Now button on a WordPress website. While there are many different ways around collecting payments for either goods or services on a website, among the simplest is a Buy Now button. A Buy Now button allows the customer to directly enter their payment details and purchase an item. These type of payment methods are commonly seen on websites where the customer would only ever be purchasing one item at any given time. Of course, the price of the product or service you are offering plays a role in whether the visitor proceeds to check out or not. The positioning of the button may also see you achieving a greater or fewer number of sales. After we create our Buy Now button using the WordPress plugin, you can then place your Buy Now button for effective sales within a blog post on your website sidebar using the widget tool within the about page of your website, on your website's landing page, or on your home page. I've now arrived in my WordPress dashboard where I'll go over the steps required to create a Buy Now button. Once you install and activate the WP PayPal Payment plugin, under your WordPress settings menu, you'll see WP PayPal Payment. It's here when you click on this option that you'll be taken to the Accept PayPal Payment settings page where we'll need to configure a few details. In here, you can choose a WP PayPal payment widget title. So this will be the title shown when you add the widget to your WordPress website. So mine's just PayPal payment for now, but I'll just go. Underneath this, you'll see the field to enter in your PayPal email address. This is where all the money will go from goods or services paid via this buy now button. So just enter in your PayPal email address there. Here, choose your payment currency. So mine's set to US dollars, Although from the drop down menu, you can see there's a few options there. So under here is where you can see the payment subject. It's here you'll need to enter in the product or service name or the reason for the payment. So if yours is a donation, it might be the cause that you enter in rather than the product name. So I've just entered in products available there. You can have a number of different payment options, but my one is just A to Z baby book hard covers and the price is $10. If I wanted to enter in another one, well, let's just say gold less than $20, as that's already come up for $20, I can enter in that underneath there. So then on the front of my website, this will come as a drop down menu. If I only had one, you'll only see one item for sale. Scrolling down further, you can tick to show other amount. Tick this checkbox if you want to show another amount box to your visitors so they can enter in a custom amount. This is mainly used for donations. So if you tick this, your customer will be able to give you a donation amount. So if, for instance, they might like to get the baby book as a donation, but they only want to pay one USD. So if you tick this in the front end of your website, they'll be able to just pay you one USD for that product. You can show reference text box. Tick this checkbox if you want your visitors to be able to enter a reference text, like an email or website address. So if you tick this and then you enter in the text your email address, it's actually possible to sell a digital item using this plugin. While not advised as you'd need to individually send a digital item to each address, it is a possibility. So mostly people just ask for an address if they want it for something like MailChimp or those sort of marketing plugins. Return URL from PayPal. So if they have a successful transaction, you can have a URL here that they're directed to. So this should be your thank you page. A cancel URL from PayPal. This could be another page where you have another cheaper item for sale as they haven't proceeded to pay for this item. If you leave this blank, there just won't be a cancel URL from PayPal. Down the bottom, you'll need to choose a submit button. So if you're trying to sell an item, you just pick that pay now button, which is virtually a buy now button. Or if you've got a donation product or service, click the donate button. So that's what the customer will see on the front end of your website. Once you've completed all that, you can go ahead and you can update your options. Basically, that is how we configure the product. And if we scroll up, we'll see the short code to add that product to any post or page on our website. You can also add a widget to the sidebar of your website, which I'll show you how to do also in just a minute or two. To add this product or service to any post or page on your WordPress website, you'll need to copy the short code. So just make sure you actually copy it from one bracket to the other. Otherwise, you can just type this into a post or page. So it's bracket WP underscore PayPal underscore payment and then close the bracket. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to post it on a page. So I've opened up the pages menu. I'm going to go ahead and add new. You can just add a title product. 
So underneath the title, if you add a block, you'll just need to add a short code block, paste in that short code, and if you publish or update the post or page, view that page, you'll be able to see your buy now button. So as I mentioned, if you've got more options, they'll be listed in that drop down menu. Although I only have the one product, so my customer would just select that and then they can follow on and click the pay now button. Clicking that pay now button allows them to go to PayPal and proceed with checking out with their PayPal account, or they may choose to pay with a card. So then there they can just enter in all their card details and check out with a credit card. I'd like to go back now to my payment page, just going back a few, and it's here that I've actually added my item to my sidebar of my website using a widget. If I head back to my WordPress website, you can do this by clicking on appearance and then on the widgets menu. So from that widgets menu, you can see here that I've just dragged it from here and put my WP PayPal payment buy now button on the sidebar of my website. So that's virtually how easy it is to add a buy now button either to a post page on your WordPress website or to the sidebar or basically anywhere that you can have a widget on your website. So that'll depend on your theme, although the sidebar is ideal as this is shown on every page basically that your visitor will go to. So that will constantly be seen by your visitors, increasing the likelihood of them clicking that pay now button. So that basically wraps up this tutorial on how to add a buy now button to your WordPress website. If you have any further questions or queries, please comment them below or head to the TTHQ forum and send us a message. I've linked below the plugin that I used to create the buy now button on my website. All the best in creating buy now buttons on your very own WordPress website.